You want to see some of my newest favorite gear? Let's check it out. It's Fast Lane. Hey guys, welcome to Fast Lane. It's been a little bit. Yeah, I've been really uber super busy and I won't get into all the specifics of the whys. I won't bore you with all that. Um, <clears throat> took a new job. Uh, anyways, this whole supervisor job thing, it's really got me busy lately and uh, it's been a little bit since I've been able to make a video, but things are settling down a little bit now and uh, so I thought perfect time to talk about some of my newest favorite gear. Now, here's the deal. Last night, I tried to go to Cycle Gears Bike Night. Okay, they have a bike night like once a month. I've never been to it before. And I got there and apparently Cycle Gear didn't know their bike night was happening. All right, guys, here we are at, where is it? Cycle Gear, right here in Springfield, Oregon. Um, yeah, it's the bike night that, I guess they did it like last week. Remember when I said I had a feeling like something wasn't right and it wasn't happening? Well, yeah, it's, uh, they didn't know it was happening, but it, it's happening now. Of course, we got the old Indian Scout bobber right here. And I, I did give it a bath before I showed up today because this is supposed to be a bike night and it's the bike night that wasn't, wasn't happening. But um, yeah, you know, everybody makes mistakes. No big deal. I'm, I'm not upset about it because honestly, these things happen and that's the way life works sometimes. Anyways, no big deal. You know, I met some really cool people and I actually bought something brand new while I was there that I had seen a video a guy had made about it. And I gotta say, I was pretty excited to pick up this item. And so, you know, it made everything just a-okay, all right? So I got the lights on in the studio today just because I want you to really be able to see what I'm gonna be showing you here in a minute. And uh, let's start with one of my favorite things, this hat. All right, so this hat that I wear pretty much in every video, I picked up from Indian, and this is called the Indian Felt Patch Hat. And you know, after you wear a hat like this for a while, and I love the fit of this hat. It is one of the greatest hats for like wearing backwards the way I like to wear it, kind of like down here over my ears when my ear actually stays in place. But uh, I love this hat, and I wear it pretty much all the time. And you know, like I do, if you wear a hat a lot, they get a little funky, so ordered myself a brand new one. Let's check it out. All right, there it is right there. The Indian felt patch hat is what they call, call this one. It's pretty much a flat build thing with a mesh back. Got the little Indian logo right there. And of course, across the front, this is kind of a hard little doodad there. But uh, this is a great hat for wearing backwards. You know, some hats don't really they don't look as good on some people backwards because they sit too high up and depending on your hairline, it can make you look not as cool in my opinion. But um, this guy fits amazing. They still have a few left on uh, like eBay. If you ride Indian and you want a really great hat, I've seen Ricky Not So Martin rocking this hat. Cool guy, met him. Um, and I've been rocking this one for a long time now. So uh, yeah, this is the new one. This one's gonna be for the sweaty working in the garage days, and this one is gonna be for the times I wanna make sure I'm looking fresh and you know out in public and all those, those things. So that's the Indian felt patch hat. All right, next thing is gloves. I have, I've got a thing for gloves. I'm not gonna lie, I love gloves, and I have a quite a few gloves, um, but a company that I really love is Icon. And I just love their style. I love what they put out. I think it's cool. They're the local boys. They're right up in Portland. And I picked myself up a couple new pairs of gloves here recently. And uh, let's talk about them. First one is, these are the Icon Hooligans right here. And these are kind of a a uh, mesh kind of a thing. Um, they are definitely a summer glove. Um, you are not going to want to wear these in the winter. You're going to freeze. Um, but they're super cool to wear. They still have some kind of armor, rubberized stuff on here. They've got the Axlerado Palm, which is pretty much Icon's idea of like a synthetic or a vegan type thing. I'm not against vegans. I had some vegan meatballs and they were great. 
you know? So uh, these uh, would be kind of fitting into that vegan category of uh, gear that we're starting to see a little bit more of these days. And uh, let me put one on and show it to you. All right, so here it is, the Icon Hooligan glove. And if you're looking for pretty much like a minimalistic, definitely a summer glove that still has a bit of protection and is not just like a motocross glove, because I don't recommend recommend those for street riding, but you do you, do, you, do what you ever want to do. But uh, these ones still have a bit of protection. Um, one thing some people said was the pinky was a little bit long, and I will say it's, it's a tiny bit long for me, but I don't think it really looks weird to me. It's fine. I don't know. Um, pick these up on a eBay. You can get these for literally like 20 bucks now. They come in a ton of colors, blue, red, green, some really exotic wild designs and stuff on them. Might pay a little bit more for those ones. And now they've got a whole bunch of like camo options and they just came out with the new uh, D3O something or other, same thing. And they're like only like 10 more bucks. So yeah, Icon Hooligan gloves. I think they're really super cool. They're great for summer. Check them out. All right, so here's the next one, the Icon Outdrive. Now, I thought this glove was absolutely sick when I saw this on their video. Uh, they kind of got a drift car racing a motorcycle, and I don't know, it, it's crazy, it's really cool. But uh, this is the Icon Outdrive. It is, once again, Axlerado. It's their synthetic thing. Supposedly, the abrasion resistance is just as good. I don't know. I hope I don't have to try it out, but I'm sure somebody did some research on it to find out. So, these are kind of got that uh, iconic driving glove style, I guess you might say, but with kind of a futuristic uh, flair to them. Um, you know, you got, of course, the armor across the knuckles. This is all D3O. Um, you got this whole perforated or kind of ridged panel here. They are a perforated glove, so they're more of a spring summer glove, I would say. Um, maybe not full summer. They probably still might get a little bit warm, but the perforation actually helps a lot. Matter of fact, I rode with them this morning, and my hands were cold. So um, I say, you know, they're for warmer weather, um, not probably hot, hot days, but uh, D3O, there's a little patch right there, Axlerado, Palm, of course, and uh, I just think they look cool. They got a little bit of extra room there so you can bend and not get stuff in your way. Really comfy. I'm a pretty, I'm a bigger guy, you know, I'm like 230. I'm not huge, but I'm, I'm a bigger guy, about 6'2", and uh, I got the medium in both of these pairs of gloves. I did have to stretch them a little bit just because I like my gloves to fit pretty snug. I just don't like the feel and the look of, you know, really like bulky gloves. But you might want to go with a large. I'm not telling you what to do. My hands are not the hugest around, okay? So you do you, look at their size chart. I like to get a lot of my gloves in a medium and then I just try to stretch them. You know, they stretched out fine. I put a kind of a pair of winter gloves underneath them to stretch them, worked with them, rode with them a couple times. Super comfy, love them. That is the Icon Outdrive. All right, one thing before I continue with the last couple things I got here to show you is, I don't know if you noticed this shirt I'm wearing here. This shirt right here is about 25 years old. Okay, I had this shirt, this West Coast Choppers Mechanics shirt. You can see the back here. I got one of these years ago when I was in like my 30s, okay? And uh, my kids were just little tiny tots. I had this exact color, the whole thing. And uh, it's kind of a short sleeve thing, you know? Pretty cool. I I've, I've always loved this shirt. Well, uh, they used to sell these at Walmart for like, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks. I don't remember. That's where I bought mine. And uh, yeah, I, I just started looking on eBay and I got a hankering to see if they happened to have any of these again because I loved this shirt when I had it. I picked this up for like $25, completely vintage, not a stain on it, not a rip, a tear, not a smell. I probably put more smell on the thing than it, uh, you know, sitting here in my hot garage than anybody ever else did. 25 bucks, I just thought this was cool, I wanted to share with you. All right, this one you've already seen once before, but I wanted to give it a little bit more time because I really haven't given it the, the time it deserves. This is the Speed and Strength, check that out. It's vest. It is a leather and a waxed 
cotton combo vest, all right? This thing kind of on camera, it, it kind of looks a little more greenishy, and it, but it's pretty much all black. They do make it in an olive. They make it in a black, and they make it in something else. I don't know. But uh, this is the black version. YKK zippers. Of course, you got an extra little zipper pouch uh, pocket here. Um, nice liner inside. You, you got the CE back armor here in the back. And of course, that's removable if you're wearing something else that maybe he's already got it or you just don't want to wear it. A um, couple pockets up here, a couple zips here. Um, all your adjusters are right there. You want to check it out? Let's check it out. All right. So I'm going to attempt to show you this. I don't have a lot of room in here, but uh, it's pretty much what it looks like. Yeah. Pretty cool looking setup here really comfortable and you know it's kind of great if you're wearing just like a shirt under it or something and it's maybe in the morning where it's just a little bit cool the sucker will actually keep you a little little bit warm and uh, i highly recommend it i think i picked mine up for like 60 bucks ebay brand new from some company i mean you could find them for about 200 bucks out there still um, but i bet you if you look around you can find uh, one for probably like 60 70 bucks maybe less and i just think it looks really cool it's a great summertime option still gives you a little bit of protection um and it looks cool you know that's the thing and this thing is built like a rock super sturdy um, i like to wear a sweatshirt under it for cooler days and this one i got in a size large now i don't always get everything in a large so i usually fluctuate a little bit between medium and large depending on the company and the brand I just did a little research. I kind of watched what other people were wearing in other videos and you know online what I could find out. And I decided a large was probably how I wanted mine to fit. I don't like baggy stuff. I like my stuff to fit, you know, true to size. And I think this thing makes you look buff. It's cool. So yeah, that's the speed and strength, tough as nails leather vest. So last and certainly not least, on my list is this bad boy right over here that's probably all blurred out and you can't even tell what it is right now. Mm -hmm. You may not know this, but I am a fan of Dixon Flannel. If you've ever heard of the company, they are pretty cool, man. Dixon Flannels are a huge company. Tons of people love their stuff. People collect them, they save them, they resell them for make a lot more money off of them because people want some old flannel they couldn't get anymore. A lot of their stuff sells out. Um, you can't find your size in it sometimes. And they're not, they're not cheap, you know, they're not like 20 bucks for a flannel. So you're looking at 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks, depending on the model. And that can even go up, I suppose, um, depending on if it's a real limited edition run. Well, here's the deal. Cycle Gear and Dixon Flannel did a collab. Mm-hmm. So last night when I was at the Cycle Gear bike night that uh, essentially didn't happen. So here we are at the um, Cycle Gear bike night that I don't think it's happening, honestly. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna hang out for a little bit more and then I'm gonna bail on out of here and be like, this was a fail. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I was just looking around the store there and I saw this bad boy, and let's check it out. So, the Dixon Flannel. Uh, Dixon slash Cycle Gear Flannel Collab. It's right here. This thing is kind of a dark gray with blue and white, of course. And I think it's at, can you see that? really really pops man i just love i hope the colors are coming through on this thing very 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 cool there's your of course your little logo right there that says dixon cycle gear um cool features about this you got the kind of the cowboy snaps on this sucker all over here on the pockets there on your sleeves you got these cool little buttons right there i don't know if you can see what that says but essentially, you probably can't see that. It's probably all blurry. But it says Dixon Flannel Company and Cycle Gear on the little sleeve buttons there, which I think is really super cool. Open it up. Of course, you got Dixon Flannel Company, Cycle Gear right there. You got a little uh, Cycle Gear logo right here. And 
Dixon logo right, right there. Super cool, I think it's amazing. They also give you on the inside a little sunglass cleaner. I think all their flannels do that. I think it's kind of cool. Um, do you want to see it on me? Let's check it out. All right, so the Dixon Cycle Gear Flannel Collab. Let me move my mic over here for just a second and be more, be more professional for you. So this sucker, I think, super cool. Of course, I love the convenience of snaps. I've always loved the snap cowboy shirts and such, but uh, this is a large. Um, I might have bought a medium had they had it. For me, I probably need an XL tall would be better, but it's got a lot of room in the back, so it's, it's still plenty long for me. Um, the sleeves would get a little short for me, as you can see here. Sleeves are gonna get a little short. This is my um, uh, Fort, uh, Fort Nine impression. Love that guy, you know how he does it. <laughs> Anyways, so the sleeves are probably, will get a little short for me, but here's what I like to do. When I ride, or I'm wearing a flannel, most of the time, I am rolling these suckers up just like that anyways. That's how I like to wear my shirts. I rarely have a shirt cuffed at the bottom. I do have some armored uh, motorcycle shirts that I will do that from time to time. But uh, for a shirt like this, I think a, a large is pretty much spot on for me. 230 pounds, almost 6'2". Super muscular build, of course. All right, guys, so that is pretty much my gear review of some of my favorite newest gear. Now, you can find a lot of this stuff on the internet. You can, of course, buy it from your favorite store. Um, the Icon stuff is available all over the place. You can certainly get some of it on eBay. This Dixon flannel, you're, of course, only going to be able to get a hold of it right now at Cycle Gear. Um, this sucker's about $59. I think I got it on sale last night for $49, which was pretty cool, I thought. So yeah, 50 bucks for a Dixon flannel. I love the pattern. One thing I love about Dixon is I love their patterns on their flannels. They are not just your generic flannel that you see everywhere. They actually take some thought and time into the designs. Good job, guys. The Indian felt patch hat, same as this one here. You're only gonna be able to get probably off of like eBay right now. I don't think they are actually selling that on the Indian website anymore. Um, I might be wrong. If I am, comment below. Tell me what you think of all this stuff. Tell me if you have any of these items. If you have any questions, comment below, ask me a question. I would love to chat with you. I've got all kinds of friends now. I'm chatting with people from all over the world. Japan, Germany, the UK, Scotland, Australia, and of course all across the United States. Alaska, it goes on and on and on. Hawaii, I love it. Talk to me, I'll talk to you, believe me, I will. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. Ask me a question, tell me what you think of the, the channel. So like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am just shy of a thousand subscribers, and man, you could put me over the top, right there. It could be you, you could be number 1,000, but don't, don't wait act now. Um, but I need you to subscribe to my channel. I hope you're enjoying the content. Let me know what you think about things in the comments below, and I will see you next time. It's Fastlane.